Welcome to another episode featured on iTunes, iHeart, Spotify, and other popular podcast channels. And now, your university professor, published author, and U.S. Army Airborne Ranger veteran, Dr. Aaron Bryant. So that's a good point. Um, I know, and I can speak for myself, when it comes to hearing about the American Legions, the first thing I hear about is an older organization. Um, I hear that it's mostly World War II vets and Vietnam vets. And you kind of feel like, well, these guys, older cats, you know, these older veterans, you know, as much as I have respect for them, you know, it's like my grandfather's group, you know, so whatever image we can do to try to encourage the younger generation to get involved, we definitely need to do that. So I have a question for you. I know the answer, but again, this is a question that I want to make sure the audience can understand. Do you have to live in a specific area to be a part of that specific post? Could, so for instance, if I'm living in another city, could I join a post in a different city, even though there might be a post in my own area, or if there's not a post in my area, but I don't live in that city? How does that work? You do not have to be living in the same area that your post is. I mean, I got members in Nevada, I got members in Colorado. So no, you do not have to be, as long as you pay your dues, you're good to go. <laughs> right, right. You know, as long as you pay your dues, you're good to go. <laughs> Wonderful, okay. So that's good to know, because I'm sure there's probably some uh, vets out there who are probably living in rural areas and may not even know of a post that's near them. So that's good to hear that. Um, you mentioned the um, One Vet, One Voice. You mentioned it's a 501c3. So that means you've got a board. That means you have certain requirements you have to do. So I'm curious to ask, how do you guys obtain funding? And how do you maintain your financial management for that program? Well, with, uh, you know, with the 501c3, I actually uh, established it and took it from the ground up. So mm -hmm. I learned a lot on how to establish a 501c3. Um, I went to UC Berkeley and they had a program there that helped me get my articles of incorporation together mm -hmm. with the law students there mm -hmm. because they need to get experience in doing stuff like that. So a lot of universities and schools do that. Well, they'll, they'll try to give them experience in doing different projects. Right, so right. So I ended up getting my articles of incorporation from, from UC Berkeley and I hand carried everything, went up to Sacramento, got yep. it approved, applied for the 501 tax exemption with the IRS, got that approved. And, um, you know, that happened like five years ago. And um, one day a buddy of mine said, hey, Eddie, man, you need to call this organization. They got some money. And it was the National Parks and Rec. And they had a program called Troops for Fitness. And they wanted me to establish that program in San Francisco. And they were going to give me $125,000 to do that. <laughs> I had just got my 501c3. I go, cha-ching, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> so I ended up getting this money from them. And I got 30 veterans trained for a week, all expenses paid, uh, to become personal trainers. Nice, nice. So they all got their certificate to become personal trainers. And that kind of gave me the seed money to get things going. And um, we have no sponsorship unless we have certain events. We have no membership. So money is always hard to come by. So a lot of times it's based on donations. Right. right. You know, uh, recently we helped T-Mobile uh, with the merger of Sprint. And uh, they kicked down some money. Um, so it, it, it's, it, it's one of the things that we need to establish, but you know, it's an operation that has very low overhead because we're a referral agency, right? You know, we refer veterans to resources. Um, but, but funding is always important. You know, the, the work study program, veterans will donate, you know, a hundred dollars, um, you know, uh, the uh, film festival, we had gotten some money from Craig Newmark. We apply for grants. Um, so it, it's hard at times to try to keep things going, 
But, you know, we managed. We managed, you know, and a lot of times, you know, I'll kick money out of my pocket to, oh, yeah. to get things done, you know? When um, you're the founder, you definitely are going to come out of your own pocket. I yeah, trust yeah. you. You know, and, and um, you know, I get a CPA that evaluates the books and does all that, you know. But, I mean, you know, we, we've been surviving and uh, uh, we've been trying to, you know, keep it going and to help our fellow veterans, you know. So it's important for me. It's a passion for me. Yeah. Yeah. You know? So on your website, I noticed that you have a long list of partners and friends. Um, do you have challenges in obtaining and maintaining those relationships? I mean, you're, you, you've been about five years young, so you're fairly new, although your reputation is obviously a lot longer. So how do you continue to build that up with your relationships so you can continue to make the program relevant and also continue to make the program vis- visible? You know, the website and those partners, um, they come out of the woodwork. You know, I got several people that want to be on the website. Mm-hmm. And this has started happening the last couple of years uh, where people see the resources and they want to get added to that. Okay. So what I do is I ask them, hey, you know, it costs money to maintain the website. It costs money to do this, to the, do that. Can you donate? Right. In order for you to be on the website. Right. And a lot of them do. They'll donate money to be on the website. You know, that, and, and that kind of sustains it and keeps it going. And, you know. So that I I have to ask, and, I, and this is the one of those. I guess partners or, you know, one of the sponsors or contributors, whatever category they fell in, caught me by surprise. And that was the mattress advisor and mattress clarity. I would have never, I would have lost my shirt if I had bet that that would be something on a veteran website. So you have to explain because there's going to, they're going to go to your website. The listener's going to go, they're going to click, they're going to see who you're involved with and they're going to see that they're going to be just as confused as me. So please kind of give us a little visibility on how that came to be and how they you know and again we don't want to deny money but it i just couldn't i couldn't put the two together (laughs) okay well think about it many of our veterans have chronic pain and what better way to control and manage your pain than a good night rest absolutely if you don't have a good mattress that you could sleep on you're not going to get good sleep that's right so these people evaluate different mattresses and rates them and it's information that's valuable for veterans Mm -hmm. because a good night's sleep is going to help that chronic pain absolutely so i think about it like that and you know sleep is very important for veterans Mm -hmm. and you know i don't just put anybody on there there's right. got to be a relative uh, uh, a purpose of why I do what I do. Just like the films I show at the film festival. There's got to be a reason why I'm picking these films. It's to help educate. And that falls under the four pillars of, of One Bet, One Voice, that education piece. So that's why we have the mattress of, uh, um, evaluators on it. Right, right. No, and I, you know, I... I meet somebody who struggles with sleep uh for different reasons um i could definitely appreciate that and i actually that's why i caught my eye because i had to go in and i was like whoa wait a minute because there's so many different varieties and you never know who's telling you what so i was actually really uh when i saw that i couldn't stop laughing but i wanted to at least address it on the show because i thought it was really interesting um you know what eddie this is amazing we covered so much information why don't you give people the uh, website address to get to One Bet One Voice? Share that info. The, the website for One Bet One Voice is onebetonevoice.org. All spelled mm-hmm. out. Onebetonevoice.org. And that's the website to reach me or to find out more about what's happening with veterans and, uh, and uh, any events that we have going on. Um, we also have the SF veterans film festival that's going on now and you can get a free ticket and check out some dynamite films just uh yesterday yesterday we had the director's panel which was really good we had eight directors that were on there and great questions and great interaction so uh, if you go to onevetonevoice.org 
you could find the link to the SF Veterans Film Festival. And there you could get your free tickets to the ninth annual San Francisco Veterans Film Festival. Outstanding, outstanding. Eddie, I want to say thank you for being on the show. Thank you for taking the time. You and I will talk again offline. Um, this was amazing. A lot of good information. I want to say that if uh, when you go to the YouTube channel to watch this video, there will be links there uh, that will take you to One Vet, One Voice. There are going to be other information relevant to the show. Um, Eddie, you have any last words for the audience? Yes. If you are a veteran or if you need or if you know a veteran that needs help, Here's the number to call, 1-800-827-1000. I'll say again, 1-800-827-1000. That is the direct line to the VA call center. They could help you and direct you to any resources that you might need, education, home loans, the VA uh, registration for the hospitals to apply for service connection, 1-800-827-1000. And I will put that on the YouTube channel. I will make sure it's available for the others to see so they can be able to have that in case they couldn't write it down. Uh, right. A lot of our podcast listeners are listening to this show while they're driving. So we want to make sure they're safe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eddie, this is great. Thank you so much. Again, I want to say thank you for uh, being a part of the show. Uh, to all the listeners out there, I want to, again, extend my appreciation for your loyalty. That is the show. Thank you for listening. To all my veterans and families out there, please understand that this show is for you. Be blessed and know that I'm not just speaking to you, but more importantly, someone is listening. And that someone is not just me. That is the show. I, my name is Dr. Bryant. You're listening to Dr. Bryant Speaks. Everybody take care.